Hey everybody, welcome to Look Out Farms. We appreciate you watching our videos and every single day there's something new happening on the farm. Today we're going to fix a door in Isabel's bathroom. Let me show you what it's doing. If you look down right, if you look right there, you'll see an arch, a scratch. And I think the floor may be a little high right there, but definitely something got under it. And when it did, uh, it scratched the floor pretty bad. What we're going to do is pull this door off set it up on a stand and take a little bit of the bottom off with a with an electric planer that my friend Carrie got for me oh maybe 15 years ago what an awesome tool so come on guys let's see if we can get this done Guys, there's probably three or four different ways you can approach this. Uh, one, you can use uh, like a circular saw and measure it and cut it. Pretty easy. Uh, two, you could use a hand plane, one of those big old block planes uh, to take the bottom sections off. And that's manual labor, not a problem. Um, I don't have any of those right now, uh, but I do got one of these. This is a electric plane and we adjust it right here. We adjust it with this knob right here. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna raise it up or lower it. And if we raise this front, the front end up a little bit, it's gonna cut into the wood and take it off lickety split. And this one has two outputs, one here and one on the other side that you can adjust by a little, where is it the button? It's a button right here that you can adjust and it'll send the discharge either this way or that way. How cool is that? So guys, you can set this right here up to a 16th. I'm not going to take that off. Um, that's just way too much for the age of my blades here. What I'm going to do is set it up for maybe, I don't know, 230 seconds maybe. I don't know. Let's see what it's sitting on. Okay. I'm going to set this up for 164th. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to plane out the store and see what it does. Carrie bought this for me, oh gosh, maybe 20 years ago. That was a long time ago. And I didn't use it much at first. Um, I was building my cabin and we got that completed. Uh, then it just kind of sat. So I've used this thing dozens and dozens of times and there's nothing like it. I really have enjoyed it. It's pretty cool. We're using a hammer and a chisel to get this thing out with. Set the chisel on the top because we can't access the bottom to push the pin out. Just take the chisel, put it around the top. Here, move. Shift your angle and go up. Take your time because you don't want to mess up any of the moldings. Here we go. You can hear it make a different noise. A little sticky. Got some residue on it. This thing is way heavy. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, buddy. <laughs> How dang on tall is this door? Uh, nine feet. Oh my God. It's solid too. <laughs> it ain't solid wood. It's probably some MDF junk. Good gosh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I'm not gonna drop this one. All right, kick that towel right under there, right? Well, mm -hmm. kick the towel under the corner. Now, most, most of the towel you can get under the corner, that's all I want right there, stop. There, okay. Now, come to me on, I'm lifting up a little bit. Um, now, I'm gonna go to you. You're going the wrong way. Let go. Now, back off. Maybe the first time I screw something up. <laughs> But it will be. It won't be the last. Man, this thing's heavy. Alright, just 
steady it's all what you do. Cheeseburger. I'm take some weight. Yes, you can. Just don't pull down on it. Go towards the snow machine. I did my I did your closet door one day by myself. That was such a bad idea. And that closet door is not as tall. Oh, the that end of it? We're gonna pick it up, and rotate it down, nice and slowly. Nice and easy. Okay. Now, it didn't take much. Now, one of the ways you can know where you've been is either to use a pencil or a straight edge and mark the mark this line right here. I'm gonna use a Sharpie. And all I'm gonna do is just put the Sharpie on the edge. Just a little bit here. That little fatness of that Sharpie is gonna, that's about all I'm gonna take off. I'm using my finger as a guide. And all I'm trying to do is just get a little line on there so that I know that all I'm gonna take off is about a 16th of an inch. So we're gonna make several passes to get to that. And when using this kind of a tool, start off, you always wanna start off taking less because you can always take more off in multiple passes, but if you do it in one pass and mess it up, you could potentially gouge it and it looks stupid. So you're gonna try to do this in one full pass. We're gonna start back here, keep this thing perpendicular like this, and then we're gonna go straight across in one pass. Definitely tell we got a much wider gap, especially over here. Let's see what it looks like when we open the door. Yay! Now, if a puzzle piece is our, our measuring guide, puzzle piece right under. Okay, the only thing we gotta do is put a little bit of plastic wood right here, some wood filler. Um, kind of just sand that edge up a little bit. Actually, we're really not the same edge at all. There we go. And there you guys have it. That door won't scratch the door. That, this door won't scratch the floor again for a while. Whew. That may be kind of hot and sweaty. <laughs> so there's always something new happening on the farm, but we love sharing it with you. So if you don't mind, uh, you know, leave us a comment or two. Let us know uh, what you think. 
Um, I don't know. So guys, we appreciate you watching our videos. If you like what you're seeing, consider giving us that thumbs up. Comments are really appreciated. And let us know that we're doing a good job. Uh, and sometimes you let us know how we can improve. So if you think we can do something a little bit better or you want to suggest a video, you let us know. We'll do our very best to get it up for you. Until next time, God bless you guys. Hey, I almost forgot. Go to milgatfarms.com. If you ever want to come out and visit, we'll put you to work. Bye, guys. Ta-da!